sounds of our house. Kinsley barking at them, them using power tools. It's a, it's wonderful. It's, it's going really well. It's very loud in the house, so we're actually gonna be working like outside. We have some more turf to go. I have a light I wanna put up. I have a mesh that I wanna put up for Kinsley so she doesn't go. Okay, let me start over. There are lots of sounds happening in our house. Uh, so, Today is Friday. This will be the last day that they work this week. Obviously, they don't work the weekends. So the weekend's gonna be like a busy weekend for me, like work-wise, because it's been really hard to film or like work on stuff on my own because I've just been working on that project. So it's really exciting. I mean, we're making tons of decisions and once they get past the demo, structural, plumbing, drywall phase we're gonna have a little bit of a lull while we wait for things that we're customizing to come in so you guys will know more in the series it's coming along really well so we had a big windstorm recently and our pool is a mess I mean look back here is just like it's just gotten out of hand especially because we're having so much construction done it's hard for the gardener and the pool guy. it's hard to do kind of anything so just kind of taking care of the yard. I have some projects that I want to do back here. I need to water all my plants for sure because it hasn't rained in over a week. And I want to have a new light I want to put up that I mentioned to you guys. And I also have this like mesh material that I got a long time ago. It was a project I was meaning to do. And I want to put it on the gate because Kinsley can slip through the gate down here. So that gate right there comes up here and we had the coyote scare. It's a whole thing. I just, I don't want, I want to feel safe with her out here and she won't slip through. So, I've got some things we're going to do. I'm going to water my plants and we'll go from there. I, I have it plugged in now inside because there's no power in that outlet. This is the gate that Kinsley can fit through. <laughs> and so she likes to squeeze through and then go up to the secret garden. And that's where I found her within like two foot from a coyote. She didn't even hear him. Terrifying. So we obviously have been monitoring her. She doesn't go up there ever alone, but I don't want her to ever like, I don't want it to be a mis like us not know. So I got this expanded sheet metal stuff and I can just cut it with some wire cutters to, to fit and I want to put it on the back of this gate. I'm just going to zip tie it. I don't have any like welding materials like my dad does or welding tools. So I'm just going to zip tie it on here and paint it black I think. I don't really know if I'll have to cut it at all. And I actually want to redo this gate like all the fence that's right here. Uh, it's just time, you know, I've got all the, I bought all the materials to do it actually, but it's like a chemical that I have to use before I paint and stuff. So probably won't do that while I'm pregnant, but that'll be like a project <laughs> for later. 24 by 24. Oh, I actually won't have to cut it at all. No? No. Yeah. <laughs> but see, it's like silver. Those zip ties are so cute. They're so little. Right? I mean, won't that be fine? This is perfect. <laughs> if kids will get squeezed through this, then... She cannot. Like, it will just like keep her from doing anything scant. You know how she likes to do scandalous stuff? She's, she's sneaky. She fits through the tiniest of places. She's so tiny. Sometimes you want to put For a while I was using our floaty for the pool to block her out. So just in case I didn't see her slip by me and come up here, it's just not safe. 
the contractors and the guys do so much work that we're like, it's giving us home, home improvement motivation. We're like, oh, they do so much in a day. What can we accomplish? <laughs> she cannot fit through there. No. Okay, next project. We also did, um, while it was sunny out and it was warmer, we did some more gluing because I still had a few pieces of this grass that wasn't glued down because I really wanted to test out that outdoor glue that I used. And it has flooded, it has rained, it has been through things. It's now been like maybe nine months since I did all this turf and it held up so well. So we went ahead and glued some pieces that we had over here. So it's all done. We're just like getting things tackled today. This is the light, love them. The same ones that are over there, but this column is taller. It looks really nice. It's like soft light. It's not like super bright, but it's, it's I like it a lot. These were super easy to install. You just have to find where you need to drill the holes. And if you have brick like us, you'll need a masonry bit, which is a different drill bit. Let me show you the drill bit. Well, it won't show you much, but basically it looks like that. And it says masonry on it for specific for brick. And then you just take off the back here and you mark the holes. And we drill the hole in. It's like really, really easy. And they held up well. Yeah. They did good. Right here, does that look good? It's perfect. Yeah? Am I just sun shining, pink clouds in the sky, and everything is right? Imagine stars lighting up the night, and the shooting stars so vibrant, you have to make a wish. Nothing's ever Hello guys, good morning. It's the next day and I have amazing news. I passed my glucose test. It was almost worth almost passing out. Oh, I'm, I'm just so glad that I don't have to do it again. I didn't have to start the test over again. It really was just because I hadn't eaten or drank anything in so long. I pushed it too far. I should have gotten to the doctor earlier after fasting instead of, you know, pushing that like 13 14 hour mark I should have taken you know I should have taken the test around the eight hour mark but you know things happen it's just timing I don't know I, I I should have done better but past I do not have to take the three hour test my levels were all good doctor has said this is super reassuring that it wasn't something um anything else or something super major so it's all good Romeo and I worked outside all day yesterday um, which was great. We got a lot of like those little items on our list to accomplish at the house before the baby comes. And now I'm actually in downtown. I'm actually going to a Fitum open house with my niece because my niece is going to Fitum. That's the college I went to. It's the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. But interestingly, just recently, um, Fitum actually sold or was acquired. I don't know the right language or, or what really happened, but they they basically are now ASU, Arizona State University, but it's ASU FITM, so they're keeping some things, and I'm so incredibly intrigued by like what it is. I I, I don't I don't know. I mean, FITM has been around the 60s or 70s maybe, and I obviously graduated in 2012 with my second degree, so you know it's just it's just crazy to think that it's just not the same, and so I'm interested to see like. What's changed? What's different with it being ASU? I think that they're keeping most of the curriculum the same. I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll find out, but it's just so much fun that she's gonna be going to FITM. Romeo and I have been together since they were babies. Like, I believe Ava was like a year and a half and Zoe was just born when we met. And so for the fact that she's turning 18 years old this week and then going to college and then going to my college, <laughs> This is crazy how time 
flies. And I'm gonna go home and get my video live for tomorrow, which is part one of the series, the kitchen series, the design, my plans, everything before kind of thing before getting started. So if you haven't checked that out, you'll, this it'll already be live by the time you see this. So if you haven't checked out episode one, definitely go check it out and um, follow along on the series. I have, I brought me myself snacks because I'm now fearful of passing out. I have a big thing of water. I think we get to tour because she's never seen inside the campus. It's kind of fun that I'm an alum and I get to like <laughs> walk around. It's just, it's just going to be a fun day. day guys already i've spent all, all day out there with the we met with the door guy for a custom door we met with like so much so i have so much footage that i need to go through so that i can um show you guys like demo and structural changes and a lot of like the conversations that we've been having in episode two of the series so really good things we're gonna run and get something to eat really quick and then i have a few more things i want to do outside and yeah i mean these guys are working they give me so much motivation to just like what else can we do around the house because i can't do that it's like I'm, I'm, i think i'm itching to do something like i want to like i want i want i want to pick up a grow bar but i i know no, we're refraining oh okay we just had, grabbed some lunch at tender greens i had some chicken and vegetables i didn't tell you guys so we left fit um and i have never <laughs> known that i had so much like you know when people have like school pride you know i did not realize how strong my school pride was until i had seen it all stripped away truly this merchant merch kind of like store a little store at fit em that had all fit em merchandise fit em tote bags you know like sweatshirts and things and it was all replaced with asu what are they the sun sun devils or something i have I've never been so sad looking at something. I was like, wait, what? At least, I, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe like, you know, like ASU fit em or like some, some I mean, fit em, I don't know. I mean, I love, I loved going to fit em so much. Like I loved my time there. I loved my teachers and the courses and how specific the skill you were learning was and how hands-on it was like everything about it truly i i loved just to see it all stripped away was so odd but i had an extra fit tote that i was able to give her so at least she has that which is really good she'll just have a part of fit because she's always been really excited to go to fit so okay now we're going home we're gonna have some um things i want to repot because I'll show you what happened. We took away the flower boxes underneath the windows on the kitchen side of the house um, because everyone that's everyone's told me that how they're just gonna rot and cause problems and you just don't want them there because they were real wood and they were already starting to like crack and one's like completely destroyed. Um, so I have some pansies that I have some pots that I wanna put them in, so we'll go do that. So these are the flower boxes that we had on the side of the kitchen. Well, we're closing off one window, so they took that one down, and the other one is like done. It's like rotten, and there's like cracks along the front, so everyone that's come over to the house, get rid of those flower boxes. They're gonna cause like more damage than they're worth, so either make them out of something that's like more cedar wood or like, like not wood at all, um, so that they don't cause any damage to the house. So since we're closing up the window, I had them take it down, and I'm gonna repot the, I thought they were pansies, but they're impatience. Vibrant flowers, brightened, shaded gardens and containers. I like how the previous owner kept the little things. So I'm gonna repot them. They're working hard today too. This is day eight of demo, or structural really.
because my hose, the, the joints where they're attached to the hose bib, has a leak and it's been bothering me for a while. So I'm fixing it with some um, of this plumber's tape, pipe tape. What's it actually called? PTFE thread seal tape. And you put this around the joint, you know, around the threads and it makes a tighter connection. one pot there but it's like covered in ants so I don't really want to touch it just the terracotta pots that we have like back back in the back I could plant some here there's always been some spaces I don't know if they'll thrive here it's gonna get a lot of Sun um, but it's worth a shot I gotta put them somewhere I'm gonna use its soil because it's really rich the gardening <laughs> I have in me it's a lot of bending over that I didn't anticipate but we're getting bigger in just a few days I'll be in my third trimester that's wild I may actually save this is the better of the windowsill pot things <laughs> what is this I can't I don't know the names of anything anymore window planners window planners windowsill planners something like that I may say this one is the better of the two, the other one's done, but maybe we could do something with it away from the house. You know, the problem was it was sitting like literally on the, the side of the house. Maybe by the pool shed somewhere, it might, it might work. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you guys again in a few days for another one. And very soon you'll get to see all the demo. I mean, they've made so much progress, but I need them to get to a, like a certain point in order to show the, the completion and they literally should be there today. They should be finished with all the framing and the structural work in the new kitchen today, which is wild. Then we'll move on to other stuff, electrical, plumbing, drywall, things like that. But I'll see you guys in a few days, okay? Bye guys.